Hi everyone, welcome to Becky's Crafts and Goodies. Now today I've got a little storage idea for you. Um, I have recently done a couple of little bits and bobs in my kitchen to put things like flour, pasta, sugar, my spices. And I also want to show you something that I've done for my marshmallows and hot chocolate. Now I'm just going to move the camera around slightly and I will show you. Um, I am going to pop some labels on these. So this is um, a side in my kitchen. And these are some of the pots. Now, I bought some pots from a couple of different shops, and I'm going to explain those to you. Um, but I think these look absolutely cute. I, I love them. And they're going to be great for this time of year. Obviously, we've got Christmas coming up. Now, I bought some jars and pots and things from different places. Uh, these ones came from the range. And... The hot chocolate is just the usual instant hot chocolate here in the UK. Now, the reason I use this, this is the one that I put in the um, the little hot chocolates for Christmas Eve because they're really easy to just add water, even though I do put a little tiny spot of milk in as well. So that's what I've put in this one. And then these are so cute. These are mini marshmallows, but I hadn't seen the multicoloured like, pastel ones before. Now, I bought these from Home Bargains and they come in a pack like that. But they are so cute. So buy them now while they're still available because things like this sell out so quickly, don't they? So with the pots, I'll show you with these two pots to start with. This is like the little corner that I'm doing in the kitchen for hot chocolate and um, also ice cream bits and bobs as well. Um, and I'll show you those in a second. But I've just literally just printed these out on the Cricut machine. Uh, one that says marshmallows and one that says hot chocolate. And I'm just going to pop those on these jars because I just think they'll look so cute in the corner. Now, the other pots that I've got are on a shelf behind me. And I've on those put things like flour, as I said to you, sugar and nuts and things like that. Um, but I just think it's... I'm waiting for a new kitchen cupboard actually in my, in my kitchen, but I did paint it recently. Uh, and me and Ebs wanted to sort of change a few little bits and pieces so we've done it I didn't show you while I was doing it but I think um, I'll show you it now I've done it to give you guys some ideas so I know probably in the uh, other parts of the world you maybe call this hot cocoa or something but we tend to call it hot chocolate in this country so if you haven't got a cricket machine they are fantastic really really good I'll put details of them if you uh, fancy treating yourself they are really really good you can just make any labels uh, you can make cards you can make t-shirts you can print with um, vinyl um, heat, heat transfer vinyl so we'll just pop the chocolate on the bottom there this is like an iridescent vinyl which is quite nice it's a bit, a bit shimmery when you sort of look round. So this is this sort of section. Um, I'll put the marshmallow one on in a second, but I won't do that on camera. You just peel that off. And as you can see, you can literally write anything that you want on. So I've got the hot chocolate on there. I'll just quickly do the marshmallow one. Right, so I'm just going to show you my little hot chocolate um, section over here. So I've got my hot chocolate, my marshmallows that we've just done. And I also bought these jars from um, Ikea. Now, I think the range do this kind of size as well. Um, what I've done is I've put some chocolate chips in one. I've got some sprinkles in two of them, some chocolate ones. And then these are unicorn sprinkles. I've got those from Asda. And I've also got some nuts, some little chopped nuts there. I'm not going to put labels on those because I think they look quite cute as they are. I don't think they need labels. And what I might do is pop those on a small little shelf, maybe at the back there. I'm going to look in Ikea or look around and see if I can get some little shelves. And I might move the hot chocolate and marshmallows. I've not kind of made my mind up yet. Now I'm just going to move the camera up and 
I'm going to warn you, I don't have a cupboard door on my cupboard because I've ordered a new one. So there'll be a new one going on there very shortly. Um, incidentally, that plant there that came from Ikea as well, that one that, that comes down. But as I come out, I just want to show you this little spice rack. So this spice rack came from Ikea as well. And so did these little jars. So they come in a pack of two. And what I've done is, again, I've put the, the labels on the front. So that was mixed herbs. And I've got another stand at the top there. So I have I have got some more jars. So when I've got more spices, I can I can fill that up. But I had kind of a bit of a dead space that wasn't enough room for another cupboard. So I thought maybe a, a little spice rack would be nice there. So what I'm going to do is just show you the other side of the kitchen and um, I'll show you what I've done with my other jars and pots. So we've spun round and these shelves, um, as I said to you earlier on, I've put pasta and ice and sugar and all sorts of things like that in. Now these came from Home Bargains, these pots. And um, I, do, I did find that you have to try the lids in there because sometimes the lids are a little bit sort of stiff. But they had three different sizes. So they've got this size here, which I've put the pasta in. I've got some spaghetti there in that one. Uh, then there's this size. I'm just going to go down to the bottom shelf. This one that I've got the self-raising flour in. And then there's the smaller one there as well. So I just bought a bit of a mixture. And this plant here came from Ikea and so did the pot. So that's the same pot as the other one on the other shelf. And then obviously just put the, the vinyl on the front and use my Cricut machine for that. Now these shelves came from B&M and they were super, super bargain because they're actually in the sale. And I've got one here because I did actually buy three. I wasn't sure if I'd need two or three in that little section there, um, but I only needed two. So this is the box. This is what they look like. And they're actually down to eight pounds. But I thought they're so nice. And I like the fact that they've got the, the gold and the white and also the bar on the front because then the jars won't slide off. And they've got this little um, hook there, uh, screw bit that you can put the screw in to make them a little bit more sturdier than sort of normal floating shelves. So they had different colours of these. I think they had maybe a black one. I'm not sure, I think it was black, and they might be in the sale as well. So if you are interested in these, then pop in sort of, you know, when you can. But that's it, really. I just wanted to sort of share those ideas with you. So you can get the jars, as I say, from home. There's places like Home Bargains, there's Ikea, there's The Range. Uh, some supermarkets might sell them as well. But just have a look around. And if you haven't got a Cricut machine, I know places like Poundland do some of these little... Um, like stickers as well they do a pack of them I've used them um, in the video that had the vases in so yeah that's it I thought I'd share those and I thought I'd share my little shelf bargain with you as well so once I get my cupboard door back on um, I need to buy a new blind and some new floor and I think my kitchen will be done and I might even get some like twinkly lights or something to put in there and, and just sort of look about and uh, see bits and bobs when I see them you may have already spotted as well this vase that's a vase that I made in a little tutorial for you guys but um but that's it so I just wanted to share those with you I hope um, you've enjoyed this little video and I hope it's given you a few few ideas as well. But that's all from me. You take care of yourself and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.